No matter what sport you love watching, every match is unique, and that's why we keep coming back for more. But even though we expect the unexpected, sometimes a once-in-a-lifetime moment happens that really does seem impossible. Ready to take a look? Let's get it on! Any sport that features high speeds is bound to be dangerous, and when you're as exposed as a MotoGP racer, a crash can be really, really bad. But Japan's Tatsuta Nagashima accidentally invented the perfect way to avoid being seriously hurt. Just turn your overturned bike into a surfboard. It really is an incredible move, but you probably couldn't achieve it even if you tried. It's just one of those moments of luck that are so spectacular they have to go down in history just because we all know we'll probably never see it again. Hockey is undoubtedly one of the most difficult sports in the world. It's super fast-paced, played on slippery ice, and there are big sticks and pucks flying around everywhere, which, let's face it, will make it very dangerous. Under those conditions, it's even more amazing to see a player pull off a goal that requires an almost inhuman amount of control. Just have a look at this incredible shot, a perfectly precise, no-look backward shot that goes straight in the net. Nobody should be able to control a disc sliding around on some ice anywhere near as well as Tyler Ennis. What do you do if you're a tennis player in the middle of a rally and the ball goes flying past you? You know there's no way you'll catch up in time to set up your return shot, so your aim is to successfully return the ball. Most players would just accept defeat. Pablo Cuevas has a different technique. He just skips the bit where he has to aim. Perfect backwards shots without even glancing back don't happen every day in tennis. They definitely don't usually land in as perfect a spot as this one. One of the most important elements for success in any sport is being able to keep your cool when you're really up against it. Jay Crowder definitely had his back against the wall in this moment, but he didn't panic. Instead, he stayed calm and acted in his team's best interest by just throwing the ball straight over his opponent's heads and into the net at the other side of the court. It's an incredible shot and an amazing defense strategy. Imagine what the game would be like if everyone played like that. Then again, maybe he was just trying to pass it and got lucky. Even sportsmen are sometimes stunned by an unexpected and expertly executed move in their own sport. You can never fully predict what your opponent's going to do next, and it can come as a shock when you think you've got it in the bag and they do something most could never have achieved. This little surprise table tennis play took that to a new level, and you can see it on both players' faces. <laughs> what just happened? Well, in a way, he sort of returned the ball from under the net instead of over it. Nobody saw that one coming. Now that's how to please a crowd. Some athletes are so great at what they do that you can tell they're on another level just by looking at the position of their bodies. Stefan Kraft is without a doubt a perfect example of one of those people. This world record jump puts his skills on display like nothing else because he's in the air for so long. You can see that every part of his body from his head to his toes is in exactly the right place to keep him in the air for the 831.7 foot jump. He's not the kind of person you'll catch tripping over his own feet. In any sport, things can and do go wrong. People do their best to avoid accidents, but that's not always so easy when your job is so physical and features all kinds of equipment. Usually, though, it's the players who are at risk. The audience isn't usually prepared for danger, so this could have been a terrible day for baseball. Instead, it became triumphantly lucky. Jake Peavy's hand just slipped, and that was that. The bat went flying straight for the audience. Luckily, one fan was attentive and had the reflexes to become a hero and prevent any injuries. And just like every hero, he was rewarded with a kiss. Of course, amazing moments can also happen from a play looking like it's going to be a sure thing and suddenly changing. LeBron James made this amazing dunk over the head of his opponent, Gerald Henderson. And then the ball bounced out of the basket? What happened there? Well, it turns out that dunk wasn't so much over Henderson's head as onto it. Henderson accidentally blocked the shot from underneath the basket, creating one of the most unexpected and impossible defensive strategies in the history of the NBA. Even LeBron James can't beat a move like that. There are certain moves in any sport that are bound to bring the house down just because you almost never see them. They're the ones that will get the audience cheering even before you know if it's been successful or not. The bicycle kick is definitely one of those moves, and this moment took it to a whole new level. This Thai league football match saw two players attempt the difficult overhead kick at exactly the same time in a truly spectacular moment. Not only that, but the impossible coincidence actually landed them a goal, and we'll probably never see another double overhead goal like that in our lifetimes. The only thing left to ask is, who scored? 
Some sports require water, and that's fine. But for all the sports that don't take place in a pool or ocean, water isn't exactly helpful. For example, golf and water simply don't mix. Unless, of course, you happen to be John Rahm. He's such a great golfer that he can apparently play the sport perfectly on any surface, even a pond. Other golfers would stay well away from that pond, but he just uses it to his advantage, skips his ball over it, and makes it a hole-in-one. None of that should have been even slightly possible, but as we said, John Rahm doesn't care about what's possible. Rom isn't the only sportsman who doesn't care about mixing sports, though. Jerome Simpson can also be anything as long as it suits him. He's a great footballer, but to be great, sometimes you have to be great at other things, too. So he's made sure that he can be like Superman and transform himself into a gymnast when the game he's meant to be playing calls for it. That's the kind of perfect landing that gymnasts dream of, while also being the kind of touchdown that footballers could never dream of. Imagine what it must feel like to be as cool as that. Team sports evolve to make use of more than one person for good reason. Sometimes you can just do so much more working with someone than on your own, but it's not so easy to make that work. That's why watching moments like this is such an exciting experience. This team is what's known as a well-oiled machine, and you can really see it the way they scored this incredible goal. Everything just worked perfectly. An expert pass, and then Ronaldo stole all the glory by somehow learning to fly just to score that impossible goal. There are plenty of great goals in football, so for one to really stand out and have people talking about it for years after it happened, it really has to be an exceptional display. This goal should have been impossible, but somehow Zlatan Ibrahimovic did it anyway. He scored all four of the goals for Sweden in this match, but that was just adding insult to injury when this goal happened. Which other player can boast such perfect aim from so far away from the goal and under that kind of pressure? It's a mind-boggling feat from one of the very best. Oftentimes, the most amazing moments in sports start out looking like everything's going wrong for your team. Here, for example, there was no way as Drupal Cabrera was ever going to make this catch until he does with his bare hand. And then everything changes. A no-look backward throw gets it into the hands of his teammate and the next for a double play before anyone even realizes what's happened. A totally unexpected and victorious move. You can't top that, can you? Everyone loves monster trucks. They're pretty amazing. However, anyone who's ever driven a normal car just has to be amazed at the things those drivers do and the control they have over such a huge machine. But as awesome as the usual tricks are, stunts like this one take it to a whole new level. Everything had to be just right to get this truck to do an impossible double flip, only using the ramp for one. The second is all momentum, wheels, and perfect timing. All athletes are committed to their sport, otherwise they would have never been able to go pro. But even with that, you pretty much never see this level of commitment. This hurdles race quickly became a neck and neck fight between the two front runners. Obviously, there was only one thing for it. To win this race, you had to be Superman. So that's exactly what Infinite Tucker did. Of course, it's much more difficult to be Superman when you can't literally fly, so you really have to admire his commitment, especially since it did win him the race. 